welcome to Score One, Steel One, Series Two. Yes, finally it is here. I know a lot of you have been asking in recent videos about this series. When will it be starting? And it's starting today. So I hope you're hyped for it. Uh, I am. I'm excited. I know Series One didn't exactly go according to plan with Swansea City. We completely failed miserably, which may be added to the enjoyment levels for you guys watching. But I'm going to be managing Liverpool in this series. Some of you are thinking, why Liverpool? No, I wanted someone else. I voted for a different team. Well, Liverpool was the team that won the secondary vote at the time when I closed the poll anyway. I'm not sure what the final result was. I, I didn't look after when I decided to end the poll. But I think it could be interesting. I think with Liverpool we'll have more success than Swansea. I hope so anyway. You can't, you can't really do it any worse. We're going to be playing in the Europa League, so we'll be stealing some players from other European nations, which will be exciting. And I think the majority of you guys will know the Premier League well and know the players well, so you can relate to it a bit easier. So for those of you that didn't watch Series 1, maybe go and check that out first. Or you don't have to. <laughs> These are the rules of the series. So I am using the in-game editor. So I'll be completely transparent on that. This is a fun series. It's not to be taken too seriously. It uses the in-game editor heavily. But I don't edit players or anything. All I do is move players around and allow player registration at all time throughout the save. Otherwise it wouldn't work. So you can see the rules there. I'll, I'll explain it as we go through in more detail. Now I have added some more rules. Some of you will probably gr be groaning because there's even more rules involved now. And some of you will be elated because it's adding another element to this series and making it a little bit different to the series one. So I think to balance things out, if I'm desperate I can sign free players because we had problems last time didn't we where I lost every single player and I can sign a maximum of five free players a season. They're probably going to be players that aren't that great but at least I can if need be um, sign a player. Like if I lose all my goalkeepers then I'll have to sign a goalkeeper from somewhere, won't I? Now if I get a red card, or the opposition gets a red card in a match, I have to terminate that player's contract. So it can either be my own players or the opposition players. So that's something a bit different. If my player scores a hat-trick in a match, then I get to steal a player of my choice from the opposition. However, if the opposition players or player gets a hat-trick, then I have to lose a random defender or goalkeeper from my match squad. Next up is a wild card option. Now I have five wild cards a season and before a match I can save one of my players. I can basically protect one of my players from being lost to the opposition but I have to decide that before a match. So for example if we're playing Manchester City and I think and this is going to be tough I'm, I'm bound to lose a, I'm bound to concede a goal and, and lose a player here. I could protect one of my, my players, like I could protect Roberto Firmino, for example, because I think I need him, I don't want to lose him to Man City. I will protect him in this match and he cannot be lost even if he is the best player in my team and they win the match, they won't steal Firmino. And the last thing is, if or when I steal players, they are protected for one match, they are protect, protected for their debut, so I cannot lose that player on their debut. So let's get on with the series. Now some of you may be a bit confused after all that, so as we go through, I'll explain the series in a bit more detail. So this is the Liverpool squad. Also, by the way, I'm, I've decided I'm allowed to sell players. I'm not buying players. I'm not spending any money, but I can sell players simply because, let's be honest, why would anyone want Jose Enrique? AC Milan do, though, for some reason, and they actually bid for him, and I've sold him for 2.2 million. Don't know why they spent that much, but there we go. So I, I can sell players because it does boost my wage budget as well. So that could be helpful later on when I have bigger players at the team and more players with more uh, a bigger wage at the team. So that can be beneficial. So I let my assistant take control of the only friendly left in pre-season, which is against Shangang. We won 2-0. Goal from Moreno and a goal from Ings. And we're going to play Stoke City today. I'm only going to play one match in this episode but going forwards we'll probably do two or three matches per episode if you want episode two tomorrow hit that like button let's go for 600 likes and i will upload episode two tomorrow shang gang bing bong bong ding dong dong ding, 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 ding. so you're probably thinking what the hell are you doing paul with this formation uh, but it worked really well with a west ham offline save i've been playing and i've just adapted it slightly for liverpool's benefit and I'm going to go with it in this first game. I've got three tactics. We've got Liverpool wingerless. We've got the lemon and the Liverpool whoop. Yeah. <laughs> but this is what I'm going for. 
By the way, there's me. My name is Klopp Jr. And the, the best glasses I could find, unfortunately, were sunglasses. So there we go. I'm going to be playing in sunglasses today. Oh, everything's so dark. I can't really see. Klopp Jr. is going to, to lead Liverpool to glory. We're going to thrash Stoke City in this first match. We're playing on a Monday. Oh, it's too dark. I have to, I have to do this. I can't see. I'm going to... My eyes are going to fall out. And unfortunately, we've got quite a few injuries. Sturridge is injured for up to two months. Torre is injured for basically two months. Coutinho is injured, unfortunately, for two weeks. Henderson's injured for six weeks. And Flanagan is injured for six months, I think. So we'll get on with the first match. Hopefully, there'll be some goals so I can demonstrate all the rules. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. I have to watch out for red cards. Because red card means I have to terminate a player's contract. Opposition, though, it could weaken a lot of opposition teams. It will obviously only be red cards against me when the, the player's terminated. I'm not going to go through every single game and do it because that's ridiculous. I know a lot of people have been doing, playing with this premise, score one, steal one. So that's really great to know. Here's Moreno. Oh, oh Butland saves it. Oh, here's Lilana. I've also noticed Liverpool are terrible at set pieces. Like, the, the highest free kicks and corners is 13, and the highest penalties is 14 in this team. It's really weird. Here goes Stoke City on the attack. We've got it on attacking fluid. That's the way I'm playing today against Stoke City away from home. It could be a bit dangerous as we already concede a goal and we're going to lose a player early on in this series. Hmm, maybe this tactic won't be as effective as it is with West Ham. Well, a highlight at last since the fifth minute. Here's Firmino. Come on, guys. I'm playing Lucas Leiva today, as you may have noticed. And yeah, Skirtle at the back. He's actually one, probably the best centre-back on FM16 for Liverpool. But in real life, I, d I don't rate him at all. Here's Klein. Oh, yes! Danny Ings, you hero! 1-1, one, one. we're going to steal a player from the, from Stoke. Now remember, a draw means we go to a randomizer as to who we lose and win. A victory means I, I steal the opposition best players and lose my worst rated player on the day. And a loss is the other way around, as we almost get a second there. When it's a draw, I can win or lose any player from the match day squad. But winning or losing, I only win or lose players that played in the match. That makes sense, hopefully. Clarifying some rules as we go along. Those of you that watch Series 1 will know what this is all about. We can still come out with a win tonight. I might go to flexible rather than fluid. This is pretty attacking tactic. I might live to regret the red card rule. Although, I mean, to be honest, on average, you should only really get three or four red cards a season, so I shouldn't be losing a huge number of players. Oh, we almost score from a cross goal, which is just... There's so many on FM16, it's ridiculous. Corner from Milner. Oh, oh, it's a, it's another corner. Which is going to... Lilana this time is whipping it all the way back to Origi. And Firmino... Oh, he... Oh, how did he miss that? I thought that was a brilliant opportunity for him. I'm also trying to not loan players out, because what happened with Swansea last time, I remember, I lost so many players, I had to use the under-18s. I'm hoping that doesn't happen this time. Butland's had a 9.1 performance against me, what the hell? Now, do I make subs? This is a gamble, because when I make a sub, it means a player's going to be put into the into the team and leaves him open to be stolen. But sometimes you just have to take a gamble, don't you? Lucas Labour's done nothing. I'm going to bring Joe Allen on as a deep-lying playmaker. And Milner's just going to be a bit more of a defensive central midfielder. At the moment, Leiva, Lucas, whatever you want to call him, has got the lowest rating. But it's going to the randomizer as it stands. We're going to pump the ball into the box. Go a bit more direct to Origi and Ings. Maybe I should bring Benteke on. Because a draw, all of the players are susceptible at a draw, for a draw anyway. Benteke's going to go on as a target man. And I should make my last sub. Jordan Ibe for Lalana. Not a, a central attacking midfielder. He is a winger, but we're going to go with it anyway. Three minutes to try and win this game. We've had 13 shots to their seven. Four half chances and one clear-cut chance in this game. I think that's it. I think it's going to be a draw. It's going to be a randomizer. I think that's how we started the last series as well. 1-1. One, one. I've already cocked up, guys. 
I thought I was recording the random number generator thing, but I wasn't. Anyway, what I'm using this time round is boring old Excel to produce a random number between 1 and 18, because that's how many players are in the match day squad. So if there's a draw, I go between 1 and 18. And the first number that came out, which was the number that I would steal from Stoke City. So I would steal the third play. Well, it, it ended up being number three. It's not going to come out as number three now, is it? I wanted to sort of, I could have re-recorded this, but it would have taken forever. Look, it's not coming out. Come on, guys. Number three, I need it. Number 18, no, not good enough. You know, it's just, I could be here all day trying to get number three. Anyway, I stole Mark Wilson, as you can see here. And all I did was, for those of you that didn't watch Series 1, all I did was click move to my club using the in-game editor. I'll have loads of people asking me how I do this. This is how I do it. I clicked move to my club. And then the player I lost, unfortunately, or maybe fortunately, some of you may think, it was Lovren. So he's gone to Stoke City. So an okay start to the season. We've lost a player. We've won a player. And we've got one point. I'm expected to finish in the Europa League qualifying places which is definitely possible and I'd really love to win the Europa League that, that, that was a fail I was gonna go I was gonna slickly say uh, attempt to go on I really hope I can win the Europa League that wasn't that smooth either uh, and one up my dad good old Jurgen Klopp senior so in episode two I'm gonna be taking on Watford Man City and Arsenal We'll do three matches. I'll edit it down like I did in series one. I hope you're looking forward to it. Please hit the like button if you are for episode. If you want episode two tomorrow, 600 likes and I'll upload it tomorrow. Subscribe if you're new to the channel and leave any thoughts. If you're looking forward to, what, to the series, let me know in the comment section below. That'd be much appreciated. Until next time, enjoy Football Manager. Yeah, I seem to say that quite a lot now. Deal with it.